Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the RuneSpan update. Um, to access this, you can go to the Wizard's Tower south of Drainer Village and go upstairs to the portal to the RuneCrafting Guild. This portal will also allow you to travel to the RuneSpan as well. And if you have a high enough level to, it will give you the possibility of going to two different locations within the RuneSpan, the first level or second level. Um, you can also choose to talk to Wizard Phoenix right outside the portal, and he has the shop. The shop contains the Wicked Robes, which increase the abilities of the Wicked Hood, as well as they make you lighter. Um, you can buy staves from him, which will store charges of certain spells, and there is a pouch for runecrafting that you can use that will store up to 18 essence. I've heard that this pouch degrades to dust, so once it's used up, you'll have to come back and buy another one, although I haven't had this confirmed or anything. Um, there's also a steam ranks you can buy. Um, for those of you interested in going for the trim completionist or maintaining that, you will have to earn or buy esteem rank 1, which I hear takes quite a while the way I calculated, or heard it calculated, it's around 100 to 120 hours of rune spam work. Um, yeah, so, if you're going for that, be prepared to stay here a while. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much not bad. Of course, you can also buy colors, different color of Wicked Robes. Um, to start off with, I did the tutorial, so I'm going to briefly show that on here now. Um, it basically gives you an overview of how the game works. Teaches you how to siphon energy or collect rune essence from the little um, floating essence you can find around, uh, as well as how to siphon energy from the runic creatures, the esslings, or whatever and it teaches you about the different energy nodes and how they're used as well as how the essence is used with it um, but yeah that's pretty much it about how to runecraft in here pretty much everything in here gives you runecrafting experience um, there's also random stranded wizards that you can talk to in here that if you give them the runes that they're looking for to get back um, they will reward you with some bonus experience in runecrafting so if you're going for experience, I highly suggest uh, checking those out. There's also a little distraction and diversion kind of thing that you can repeat once daily, and that is the Rune Sphere. Once you break through it, it'll be pure energy. You can use the Rune Dust you get from the Sphere on it for a bonus chunk of experience. When this f update was first released, um, this Sphere would count towards your one daily um, encounter with the uh, rune sphere. So uh, at that point in time, I would suggest to not do the tutorial if you were planning on doing it in the game with friends. But I heard from a QA that they have now fixed that and it should work normally. So if you do it in the tutorial, you should be able to do it again in the actual game and it, you know, not hurt you much. But anyway, I'm going to show some footage of me going through the first second and the third levels while I talk a little bit more about the update. Um, the floating essence is what gets you started. It provides the initial essence that you need to start. Um, all you have to do is click on it to siphon the energy into rune essence. It'll give you up to 25 so that's all you can use. Um, there's uh, creatures around that you can uh, siphon energy from as well and by doing that you will actually gain runes and you use up rune essence but when the creature dies you earn more rune essence back so that's no big deal there in fact that's probably one easy way to get a lot of essence pretty quickly you can also chip away at the creature um, chipping away gives you rune essence and requires 10 runes below the creature's level um, so if you want to you can chip a creature and then siphon the remaining energies from it if you wish um, so yeah, but honestly, in my experience so far, I haven't ever really needed to chip any of the creatures, so I wouldn't even bother with that right now unless they change something later. The bridge points are 
what allows you to travel between the different islands and move around. Um, they are pretty cool. They'll always cost one of each room, but the different types of runes are, well, they'll be described. The, their symbols show up on the actual bridge point, and it'll tell you if you can use it or not, or ever what happens. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much the basic of basics of how everything works. I do w would like to say, though, that traveling on these bridge points, some of the animations for that are really, really good. Um, I've got one coming up later of a little Spyro the Dragon kind of thing that creates his bridge on the third level here. It's actually coming up fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, he makes this really, really, really epically long bridge <laughs> for you to travel across. It looks pretty cr cool in my opinion, so yeah. Um, there's not really much else to say about the update. It's a pretty simple update. The graphics on, of course, high detail, as you can see, look amazing. And I was surprised at the fact that they don't really lag that much at all, considering some of the other updates that have been impressive like this have really lagged me. So this one didn't at all, really. Um, and for those of you wanting to go for that trimmed completionist points, there's, it's semi-AFKable. This is a spot here that I found with uh, a few friends of mine. And, yeah, there's a Death S Wraith and a Blood S Wraith here that you can just keep switching between to kind of somewhat AFK point gathering. So I'll be there for a little while. As of this moment, I've gained pretty much right at 7,000 points from doing this so far, but yeah. Um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter, join my Swift IRC channel, and talk to me there. Um, you can go to my Facebook page, or stalk me on Twitch TV if you feel like. Uh, as always, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't, subscribe to me. It's much appreciated, guys. I do hope you all enjoy the RuneSpan update, and I will try to keep you updated on any other experience rates per hour or whatever I find. I'll post it in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.